think I can tell you. Do you think Russia could invade Ukraine as President Biden said yesterday he expects? I do not think Russia will invade Ukraine. And uh, I hope that uh, my belief is correct. I think we, we, we do not need to have uh, a dramatic situation in that region that would have, of course, uh, terrible consequences. Uh, and I strongly hope that uh, de-escalation and dialogue uh, uh, will allow for a solution uh, avoiding uh, the kind of confrontation that would have inevitably terrible consequences. Let's separate things. One thing is the Taliban, the other thing is the Afghan people. And we cannot have a collective punishment of the Afghan people for wrong things that are done by the Taliban. So it is absolutely essential in the present situation to massively increase humanitarian assistance to the Afghans because the Afghans are in a desperate situation with the risks of death by hunger, with the risks of death by disease, with the winter that you can imagine the winter in Afghanistan, uh, with the COVID. I mean, it's a desperate situation. More than half of the population is in desperate need of uh, uh, humanitarian aid. And this needs to be provided. We have uh, in Africa 10% of the population vaccinated. Uh, in my country, we are uh, above 90%. I mean, uh, uh, the developed countries uh, have really hoarded vaccines and not allowed for an effective distribution to the poorest areas in the world, where uh, the consequences are more devastating. It relates to the independence of the World Health Organization, but I always said that we need to strengthen the authority of the World Health Organization, namely in relation 